with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, Reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Night, 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 this is... Hello? Anyone in there? Are you going to open the door at any time? Ah! Oh, dog, dog. You look uh, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... No, answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. That's you. subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Why can I make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good 
good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are... Good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. governed by a manner of animal king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Whoa! Emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. Check. Go. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future amateur science entitlement associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments.
constantly being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome! And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. I'm going to leave my cards on the table. 
I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over it. She's off. Oh, fine. Oh, my God. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper Romanian. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where... Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You think that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just... Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I just looked again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Alright, don't touch anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I, I can still stop this. Um, oh, there's a, there's a pass. Okay, it's fine. I'll just it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A, 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 Wait, did I do the job? Okay, it's not the right thing. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Nothing. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, no, no! No, no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. Besides, the monster. I will say though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. lesson I learned from what you did. I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you've done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do. Yeah, I don't have the actual details in front of me. But the important thing is you're back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? 
I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead. So since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Not bad. I forgot how good you are. You should pace yourself though. They have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Mm. 
This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went on. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. 
this one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area, but did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Enjoy this next tent. I'm going to go to the 
sir. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't naturally do it. Predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? 
Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Shut it right down. Like, ah! Bird! 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 Okay, that's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep te- just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing.
constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add a dream vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday.